Let's do this thing. We're just gonna swing that guy aboard. Oh boy. That's better than two cups of coffee in the morning, I'll tell you what. Did somebody say coffee? Topwater bass fishing at sunrise. It's gotta be one of my favorite things to do all summer. I mean, the strikes are absolutely just vicious. They come flying out of the water at your lure. It's a lot more visual than, uh, well, it's entirely visual compared to any other uh, fishing technique. These fish just go on a rampage when the conditions are right. Oh, there's one right behind it. Got him. Oh, he stalked it like a panther. <laughs> uh, I saw his tail come up behind the lure about 10 or 15 feet before he hit it. Oh, he's a nice one too. I'm just gonna go ahead and swing him. Oh. Wow, that was cool. He came up. He revealed himself just before, about 10, 15 feet before he finally committed to it and just crushed it. You know, in these low light conditions, uh, a bass can see surprisingly well, especially, you know, looking up. Even when it seems pretty dark outside, that morning sky is surprisingly light when you're looking up. Um, it makes anything swimming on the surface a really obvious silhouette, uh, easy for a bass to zero in on. Yeah. So the idea that the bass are feeding up in the morning, it makes perfect sense. You know, a bass is a, is a top of the line predator and he's going to take advantage of a situation like this. There's one right up on shore there that's been there all morning. Let's see if we can uh, get his number. Got him. It looks like there was more than one up there too. When this one popped it, that other one uh, took off. Oh, he's still up there. Oh my gosh, these are, I thought they'd be little ones right against shore. <laughs> they figured out a way to uh, corner the minnows between the weed edge and the inside weed edge and the shore. And there's a couple bass up there just blast. <laughs> we can my turn. Mm, he Good morning, and welcome to another exciting episode of Fish Education Theater. I'm your host, Lucky Little Cam. Have you noticed that Kurt has mentioned the word edge more than once today? If you're planning to chase bass, you better get to know that term, because just like me, bass live on the edge. I've been to the edge, and there I stood and looked down. Ooh, Diamond Dave. Shout out to anybody who understood that reference. 
kicking it old school. You'll always find concentrations of bass relating to some sort of an edge. As Kurt mentioned, there are weed edges, but there are also current edges, light edges, depth edges, temperature edges, edges between different species of weeds, but there's one that usually gets missed in this discussion, and it's huge, especially for today's show. I'm talking about the edge where the water meets the world, the surface. If you think about it, the edge of the surface offers a couple advantages for a hunting bass. The surface is a dead end for fleeing prey. A bass is well aware that if he chases his prey towards the surface, it's got nowhere else to go. And for animals floating or swimming on the surface, like frogs or snakes or struggling baitfish or Kurt's chug bug, there really isn't much defense for an attack from below. When it's calm and the sun is low, the bass can see them perfectly, but they'll never know what hit them. So get yourself familiar with all the different possible edges in your water and consider how each could be advantageous to a bass under different conditions. Trust me, if you're looking for bass, you'll find them. Living on the edge! Living on the edge! Lucky little cat loves you. Good night, Springfield. I'll see you next time. I was using a popper style bait today, specifically a chug bug, but I think any of those cup faced sort of topwater lures would have worked. Got him. One. Typically in the summer when it's this warm, you'd think, you know, to fish aggressively, uh, throw something like a buzz bait where you can cover a lot of water, um, or even a, a, a zero spook where you've got that constant cadence. The idea is to get your lure over top of as many active fish as possible, as quickly as possible. It was a cool evening last night and it just seems like they want to come more of a stop and go. You know, this time of year the bass's metabolism is cranked up. Uh, he's got to eat, there's no doubt. But we had a little bit of cold weather yesterday and last night, and I think that made the fish a little bit tentative. I think that ability to pause a little bit, which you get with a popper, uh, rather than make the fish chase the bait down, was the key to getting bites today. Like that. He just gave up. <laughs> Once they get those weeds over their eyes, they just give up. <laughs> it's kind of funny. When that alarm clock goes off at 3.30 in the morning on your day off, it's easy to have second thoughts. But believe me, you're gonna have the lake to yourself, the jet skis aren't out yet, and the bass will hit top water bait. You can always go home and take a nap later. You're welcome. Ah, high five. Holy moly! That was a big hit. If that's a bass. <laughs> that was a big hit. Oh, what do you say? What are you? I see what you are. You're the one we're looking for. Oh, come here, baby. Wow, that was a hit. I couldn't possibly stay in bed knowing that this is going on out here. Wow. That's how I want to start every morning.